Hi, I'm Paul, one man, one dog. Yes, so we've got them moving about in the background with machines cleaning the gutter in the area. Anyway, I'm sidetracking. So, so this video is a Bilingo Micro Camper video. You've all been waiting for them, well, most of my subscribers are Bilingo subscribers. So you've all been waiting for a video. I've built a unit that goes behind my seat here. So you're gonna see me making that, right? Okay, let's do it. Hiya, I'm Paul, little one man, one dog. So today I'm doing some work on the Bilingo. I'm gonna make a little unit that goes behind my driver's seat and utilizes a footwell. So this is the size of a footwell here. These are the sizes. Got my wood here. I'm gonna cut it and I'll show you the frame next. Here he is. He's heard me talking to myself, seen a camera. You cheeky. Hey, oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Okay, five minutes later, use a miter saw. Got my wood there. So I'm gonna use these connectors, I'll show you them next. Okay. So these are block connectors, but this type, but these are stronger, these angled ones with a strengthening bit in the middle. So I'm going to use that, I'm not using that. And here's my screw set. This is from Screwfix. My dad got it me, so nice one dad. I ain't spilt mine all over yet. <laughs> right, so I'm going to fix it all together. Right, so it's quarter to ten. This is a frame half built. Now, I'm going to do something with these bottom pieces. And I'll show you in a minute. Right, I keep forgetting to say, all this is recycled wood. So, this is, looks new, but it's still recycled. Upcycled unit whatever you want to call it which recycled wood anyway right okay it's quite past 10 this is what i've done so far mm. right i'm rather brew now okay it's 11 20 so this is how much i've done made this so it slots in there got a bit more work to do needs a batten across the middle so it doesn't drop down but it's a bit of a mess i'm going to tidy up a bit and continue but i've just got a mint delivery um ordered it off ebay i'll show you after show you when we fitted i'm not going to do a fitting video but it's for the Bilingo, so, yeah, okay. Okay, the Black & Decker Dust Buster Flex Air Lithium 10.8 volt. I'm gonna use that to get this dust up. Okay. It's a really handy little rechargeable vacuum cleaner, this. Um, I've got an unboxing video on my channel, if you look for it. It's on the second Bilingo playlist near the end. So, right done quite a bit on this now so i think i'll go and see if it fits in the car so that fit in put it in place it doesn't leave much room across here so i'm going to take these top beams by half because it's this digging in here got a load of room at the bottom there right get it back home and adjust it this is all part okay. of it so i've done the adjustments as you can see i've made the top bit thinner comes out wider at the bottom so I'm going to get some dinner now, I'm starving. Catch up with you in a bit. Okay, I've made some more adjustments. So I've dropped this white piece down for a reason. I've made the top shorter. And then because I dropped this down here, I had to drop this down. So cut these. 
Right, let's go and see if it fits now. Right, what are you going to do? What tricks are you going to show us? Oh, a bounce. A bounce. Come here. Twist. Oh, good little boy. Aren't you? Hey, do you want a treat? Okay, so that's it. It fits. Made some more adjustments. And take it inside now and do some more. DIY dog. He's following me around all day. We stood very well and been soaring. Anyway, so here's the unit. As you see in my car, it fitted. Get off your scraps in me. Goodbye. So I fitted this and it's a hole going through to the back like that. It's a 150 watt inverter. So I'm gonna put a switch here to turn it on and off. And I'm gonna wire that up to the battery. I'm gonna remove that and wire it up and put an inline fuse on it. This will be for the electric blanket. So, bottom end of the car, right near the bed. That's all I'll use it for. So it's 340. I've done more. There's sawdust everywhere. I'm gonna tidy up now. But I've obviously got that fitted like that. I've fitted these, so little holes. And if you can see at the back of it, yeah, you can see where you can get to the cables get the connectors on the switches. That's a case of wiring these up when we're in my car. And I think I'll paint it now. So it's getting painted white. So tidy up, tidy up on my balcony because they have the jigsaw out to cut this hole. And I'm gonna get it painted. It's first coat. Right, it's 12 minutes past six. It's tea time. Second coat. Right, I'm gonna go and walk my dog now. Go to my dad's and get the chipper. Catch up in a bit. Good morning. It's 10 to nine in the morning on Tuesday the 11th of June 2019 so here's a unit I did this drawing on it last night in Sharpies says one man one dog feel where the inverter and the switches are going right so I'm gonna have some breakfast and do some more work on it I want to put some um, clear wrap over that so it don't come off and it's protected okay okay it's 11 p.m what am i on about okay it's 11 a.m i've took this end drawer off for had the sliding drawers in and i'm gonna put this piece of wood back on there so it's sealed and you can access it through there so i've just done that now got a little fella with me DIY dog always has to be there. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock, dinner time. I've just cut this piece of wood for the top. It's not attached on, it's just resting on there. Um, take them rough edges off, put some foam on and some Velboa. So it's like a seat. I've put the vinyl wrap on here. Now it's not very good. It's not the best quality that I've used. A few little creases in it, but It'll do, it'll protect it, and I can always get some other stuff. By the quality of this, I'll be able to pull it off and it won't affect it. Right, catch up when I've done my top. It's half 12, bit of a mess. All my foam off cuts, some bits of memory foam like that, and just other bits of foam. So I've stapled this to the top of the unit, and it's camping mat foam. So I'll staple that on. Now, some of this, the normal foam, and then some memory foam, and then I'm using this Velboa, and that's baby giraffe pattern. It's quarter to one. I've made the top. So, piece of camping mat foam, three pieces of foam have gone in mat, and then the Velboa, and if you look, it's stapled roughly underneath 
So I'm going to either put some connector blocks or a hinge. I'm not sure. I don't know whether I want it to open any time. So I've got a spare piano hinge. So we'll see. But I've got this out here. Now this was a window panel that I made. In the first version of the Bilingo Micro Camper. I had this on my window. And it had a fuse box and some sockets and that. But I'm going to use this to make a template out of plyboard and see if I can make some shelving in it in the window recess. Right, I'm gonna have my dinner now. Right, are you gonna do some tricks? Aye. Tongue, tongue, tongue. Goodbye, always oh, begging. Come here, twist. Oh, goodbye, goodbye. Walk back. Go on, come on, walk back, walk back, go on, walk back. <laughs> Goodbye, down. Goodbye. Sit. Goodbye, very good. He's a good little boy. I ain't got out now, we're all gone. <laughs> well, might as well get you performing. <laughs> right, it's 20 past one, and that's fitted now. Fitted it permanent, so it's on there permanent. Got me inverter in. Them switches need wiring up at the back. I want to make a panel that sits on here and goes down because if you look when it was fitted, there's a gap between the floor. So I want to make a panel for there. So I'm going to do that next. I've got a piece of cardboard. So Okay, just fit that temporary. There's the unit I've been doing. I'll come round the other side now. Right, that's it. Like that. And fit this piece of cardboard in there. Right. That. Get a panel made. Then make a panel. Getting inside, it's starting raining. Just made the panel. I've put a piece of camping mat foam on and I super glued it on onto cardboard. It's just a panel, don't need any strength in it whatsoever. So, a few bits on it there where I've had it on my floor. Right, I'm gonna get the unit back in here now and fit it. Okay, it's 6 pm and I've had enough for today now. So today I fitted that like you've seen. Permanently fixed on. I've now fitted this. Now that's cardboard with camping mat and Velboa. Super glued on to the cardboard and screwed onto there. wire up inside I've put little tacks holding it on and it comes out here so that will be connected when it's in the car right that's it for today I've had enough um, been on it quite a while got, got sidetracked a few times but managed to do quite a bit on this right tomorrow I'm gonna test it see if it fits okay and then I've got one more thing to do and that's this bottom bit that runs across here I want to put a piece of Corex and an LED light behind it so it lights up my floor. Right, okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. And good morning. It's 10.30 on Wednesday the 12th of June 2019. So, why I'm starting late, the council have just been to service my central heating and I've missed them twice. And they tried naming and shaming me by, by putting a sticker on my door saying something about central eating. Like, hey, everybody, this guy's not had his central eating serviced. <laughs> right, I've got a few bits to do. This bit here needs taking back to there um, so it fits better. And I'm going to make a bar that runs across here. Beam, Corex, don't know whether it's going to be wood, but I want LED lights in it. 
right while i was waiting for them to come and service my heating i've been messing with my solar setup so i've got the charge controller there i've got the inverter working and on my battery i've got mc connectors don't know whether they're four or fives i'm not sure but i've been doing that anyway so this is going to be in my next video i'm going to work on the electrics and the storage unit i'm fitting them all so stay tuned i've connected the cable that comes off the inverter down there and it comes here like that then this wire that runs to the battery runs up here and over that way and that'll be towards the battery so i've got my socket here shut up so the other wire's coming off to the socket now i've put a cable tie on with a washer round and i've screwed it in it's fastened on the other side there then i've tightened that up so it's not dead firm you can't be plugging it in and out all the time but for a permanent one it's going to stay stationary like this so it's just going to stay there like that and that's it right a few more things to do 10 to 12 just put it in to size it up Right, gonna get it back in now. I want to make a light from under there. So I still can access that storage space under there as well. And I've got that as storage. Right, get back inside, it's raining. Right, I've been looking for the LED lights and I can't find them. And I got sidetracked and started cleaning and tidying my flat. So I've still not found them, it's an hour later. But then I realised, oh, they're in the car. Um, so I'll go and get them now and I'm going to fit them and jump to me after I've fitted them. So it's 5pm. That up there that I've got that socket, I might actually rewire that up one. So the inverter's on its own socket with its own fuse. So I'm going to do that after. This is the light here, the LED light. When it goes dark later, I'll show it working. Obviously, I can't connect it to the battery, but I can connect it because it's USB and it's connected up there. So I can connect it to my portable power bank, what I charge my smartphones with. So this is it, really. What's the unit finished? Right, I've undone my USB. It's a case of plugging it in one of these ports. And that's it. Why is it stopped? <laughs> right, and that's it. So, it's got lights like that. You can change the mode. It just went faint, man, because the portable power pack needed turning on. Yeah. Good morning. It's 9 a.m. It's Thursday, the 13th of June, 2019. So I was editing my video because I've put these days on in segments on my Facebook page. So I was watching it and the unit, when I had it fitted, didn't line up with the bed. It was about two centimetres too low. So I've put these blocks on underneath here, there and there that already had one but it was smaller and it cracked so i've put a bigger one so two blocks there a block there and a block there right. i've just used wilco all-purpose glue in a tube to glue this on there it was on there with duct tape on and as you can see a bit of them um, double-sided pads which are rubbish it fell off a minute ago so I've used contact adhesive and glued it on so it's nice and permanent there now. Won't be falling off anyway. Right, that's the electrics finally done. Everything pinned down, neat as I can get it. 
Right, okay, I'll catch up with you in a bit when I fit it. Right, it's one o'clock. I fucked out down here. I'm gonna fit it now. It's 25 to two. I finally fixed it in. A couple of mil higher there, but that's okay. So let's get in and look at it. Oh. Right, so that's it. A few little things to sort out, but as you can see, it's even along there. It's got storage underneath. I'm gonna wire it up on a later date when I get the battery in. You, My next video on YouTube is gonna be this storage unit here with the battery and electrics and the solar panel. So stay tuned for that. But you've been watching me make a little unit with electrics. Right, I'm gonna end it here and jump back to me now in the car doing an outro. Okay, and it's raining by the way. Right, okay, you've seen me build the unit, made it from scratch, done my electrics, don't know why the dog's shaking, he's excited, he thinks he's going somewhere. Oh, oh, this is normally not allowed. But seeing as we parked up, right, the next video on YouTube is going to be this unit at the back here at the side <laughs> with electrics and the solar panel and the battery. What are you barking at? Right, I've got a Facebook page, Berlingo Micro Camper. <laughs> I'll put the link in the description below. <laughs> Shut up, you silly boy. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Quiet. Right, I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> Quiet. Right, I'm going to end the video here now. So you've been watching me, Paul, one man and one dog. Right, ain't that enough barking now? Hey, we're ending the video. Quiet, blindfold him. Right, okay, thanks for watching. Right, I'm going to end the video with a few photos. Thank you.